everybody! So today I'm going to be reviewing the Little Tykes Count and Play Cash Register. I use this all the time in speech therapy, especially for early intervention or with kids who are just starting to talk and learn language. You could also use it with kids who are learning and using AAC devices because uh, a lot of the concepts are very basic that you're going to be doing with this. Um, some receptive language concepts would be numbers. Um, so you can have them count or actually there are numbers written on the coins that this comes with. Um, you can also work on colors. So the, co the coins come in purple, yellow, and orange. And then there are also the shapes. So besides the circular coins, there's the rectangular uh, dollar and credit card. Uh, that it also comes with. Um, following directions is something you could definitely do with this. You know, put the coin in, uh, or you can get more specific. So put the yellow coin in, put the purple coin in, um, pull down, close, open. Uh, all of those things would be great for following directions. Um, also, working on shapes, you know, give me the rectangle, give me the orange circle, any of those types of directions would be great for receptive language. And then you could use a lot of those for expressive as well. So, you know, how many coins? Oh, you have three and I have two. Um, give me one coin. Uh, that would be great and having them then repeat after you. So you're going to model. So one and then they would say one or purple. They would say purple. Whatever really you're working on. Um, I have a lot of words that I like to use with this toy as well. So for single words for kids that are really just starting out. Uh, words that have um, like really predominant vowel sounds like go. So I might do one, two, three and then have them say go, and it'll open up the cash register. Uh, also, words like in, so putting it in. Sometimes I'll even hold it here, and I'll wait till the child says down or go, and then it'll drop. So me taking the toy and putting it at a distance from the child uh, limits their control over it. So I'm in control of the toy and they have to be verbal uh, or give some sort of expressive communication to state um, their request. So this is really great for having kids request. Um, also things like pull, you know, I might actually hold their hand on it until I hear them say uh, any sort of approximation or the actual word. And as they become a little bit more verbal or even using AAC, as they get those one words, then you wanna include a second word. So pull down um, and just, you know, keeping that control over them so that, you know, they're not just playing with the toy, they're actually interacting and communicating with you to get the toy to do something fun. Um, so including those phrases when they get there, open up, pull down, go in. Also, um, this is great for fine motor skills. So these holes are, um, you know, they're, they're pretty much the exact shape. Um, so you really, you can't put, you know, this purple one into the orange slot. You can put it in to the yellow, but it won't go down, which is great. Um, so they really have to do matching. So they have to be able to match the purple to the purple to get it to go in and to go down. So I like how they design the toy that you can't just, you know, I can't do that with the orange either. It won't go down. You can put it in though. Um, and then it will also go down if you slide. So slide would be another great verb to use and practice. Slide's a little harder to say though. So um, sometimes I'll count one, two, three, go, and then they'll go down. Um, but the kids really enjoy this toy a lot because there is a lot to do. Uh, it can get a little repetitive. I don't use it for a very long period of time. 
I just try to use it for maybe, maybe about 10 minutes tops. But there is a lot you can do with this. Um, the requesting for the social language, even eye contact, uh, if you want them to, if they're requesting a coin, there's a lot of trials you can do with this. So there's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 11 trials you can do, 10 to 11 trials. So just holding it right here by your face, by your eye, having them make eye contact with you. That might be all of their, they're able to do at first, but making that eye contact might be the request that you're looking for. And as soon as they make it, they get the coin. That would be more for the kids who are on the autism spectrum that are having trouble, you know, even those pre-communication skills, they don't really have them yet. Uh, this is a great toy to help practice those skills as well. So you can do that or so just having them wait. If kids are really having trouble waiting their turn to do something, you might be the one putting in all of the coins and they are waiting to pull. So that's the incentive for them. They're going to wait their turn and nothing's going to happen until you say go and then they can pull it. So they'll open it up, they can get some more coins out, or you can have them wait to slide. So there are some great options with this toy. Um, I use it a lot and I've never had a kid turn it down. <laughs> they always love playing with this. And it's really simple to wipe down because it's entirely plastic. It's a plus and a minus. I don't love plastic toys, but uh, in terms of sanitation, uh, it's really easy to keep clean and to keep germs at bay with the simple, um, you know, cloth wipe after the session. Um, but it's a really great toy. I think they've even updated it now to include um, like a little coin holder on the side. This is an older version of it, but uh, either one works basically exactly the same. Uh, if you press this down, it will also move. I don't use this feature a lot and you could also be targeting things like push, but the kids aren't really as interested in seeing the numbers up here change. But you can also do this for following directions for older kids. So it'll say, you know, this is three yellow circles. So the direction is put three yellow circles in. Uh, all right, so if you did it another way, you might do one purple coin and then the two orange coins. So it is good for following directions, but you could easily just tell them on your own. Um, I'd rather, I feel like it, it's more important coming from the person you're you know, trying to engage with than it is coming from the machine. I'd rather have them looking at you uh, as the communicator to give them the direction than getting the direction from the machine. But it, it is another thing that feature that this toy has that um, you might find use for. So hopefully this was of some help and um, I feel like it's a pretty inexpensive toy to add to your repertoire.